When it comes to vaccinating their babies, bees don't have a choice they naturally immunize their offspring against specific diseases found in their environments. And now for the first time, scientists have discovered how they do it. Researchers from Arizona State University, University of Helsinki, University of Jyväskylä and Norwegian University of Life Sciences made the discovery after studying a bee blood protein called vitellogenin. The scientists found that this protein plays a critical but previously unknown role in providing bee babies protection against disease. The findings appear today in the journal PLOS Pathogens. The process by which bees transfer immunity to their babies was a big mystery until now. What we found is that it's as simple as eating, said GRO Amdam, a professor with ASU School of Life Sciences and CEO author of the paper. Our amazing discovery was made made possible because of 15 years of basic research on vitellogenin. This exemplifies how long-term investments in basic research pay off. CEO author Daliel Freitag, a postdoctoral researcher with University of Helsinki adds, I have been working on bee immune priming since the start of my doctoral studies. Now almost 10 years later, I feel like I've solved an important part of the puzzle. It's a wonderful and very rewarding feeling. In a honey bee colony, the queen rarely leaves the nest, so worker bees must bring food to her. Forager bees can pick up pathogens in the environment while gathering pollen and nectar. Back in the hive, worker bees use the same pollen to create royal jelly of food made just for the queen that incidentally contains bacteria from the outside environment. After eating these bacteria, the pathogens are digested in the gut and transferred to the body cavity, there they are stored in the queen's fat body and organs similar to a liver. Pieces of the bacteria are then bound to vitellogen in a protein and carried via blood to the developing eggs. Because of this, bee babies are vaccinated and their immune systems better prepared to fight diseases found in their environment once they are born. Vitellogenin is the carrier of these immune priming signals, something researchers did not know until now. 